We are night and day, you can see. <laughs> Beauty, all right. This you can see the contrast, right? This is chocolate, dark chocolate, dark chocolate black. Coffee is real, but take yourself in all time. Wear your mask, wear your mask. What he's trying to say is, wear your mask is very important. <laughs> Say, say. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl IJ. If this is your first time being here, you're welcome, you're welcome. And I'm going to welcome a very special guest as well. This is his first time being on this channel. I'm very sure most of you guys already know him, but for those who don't know him, you, you will know by the end of this video. So if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for stopping by. To watch this video this is a very important video and we want you guys to watch it till the end so that you can learn some tips and share with your other friends who may have been affected or so for those of you guys who don't know this is my obim my husband we are night and day you can see <laughs> Dark chocolate black. If you didn't know, let me introduce myself again. You can call me Mr. Dark Chocolate. <laughs> I'm about to go show you people under the comments. <laughs> so, how many percent mahogany and how many percent chocolate are you? 100%. Add 100 plus 100, that's 200. 200% chocolate black. Anyway, so this is my husband, my lovely husband, Dr. Chop. Zama, if you don't know him, and um, I'm happy to have him here. I've been wanting him to do a video for a long time. Oh, so. yes, I've been coerced so many <laughs> times to be on this platform, but you know, you know how it is. Um, anyways, I'm glad to be here. So, guys, in this video, we're going to be sharing our experience with COVID. Yes, we all got infected with COVID, all six of us were affected. So we're going to share with you guys our experience, how we felt, why we decided to go get tested and um, some of the things we took and you know, it is by the grace of God at the end of the day that we're here today. We can't take things like this for granted. It is a very scary experience for those who have gone through it and I really encourage you guys do what you have to do in order to stay safe because you don't know who has it and where you can easily pick it up. Anyway, let's just jump right into it. I'll let my husband talk first, then I'm going to chip in. So, so yeah, I am Seraphine Chop Zama. Dr. Uh, Chop. Okay, Dr. Seraphine Chop Zama, and I'm happy to be here. And uh, as I told you, she's been trying to coerce me to be here to talk to I you guys. I covered you, I didn't us. No, you were forcing me. Let me use another word, force. You see? Yeah. Can, you, can you guys see what so I'm So she was to? forcing me. Every day? <laughs> yeah, and I, I'm here. I mean, I mean, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. And but we are I'm happy here. to have you. We are happy to have you, trust me. All right. So I came back from work and... Uh, Where was that? Yeah, well, I think it was a, it was a, a Friday. I came back. I was feeling really funny. I thought it was the flu, cause the only symptom I had was a, a high fever. And you know, as a man, I was like, man, you know, I need to get tested, cause I know if it was just for her, she wouldn't have tested, cause she was she was okay, but. I felt something funny, so I decided to get tested. The results came back a couple of days after. You got tested on a Saturday. You got the results on Tuesday. Yeah. So, uh, I was just told, just quarantine since you got tested. So, that's exactly what I was doing. And there was still roaming around me, even though she brought it and shared it to me. And I gave it to my sons. Who gave it to my mom and my sister, and that's how we all got it. And uh, it was a crazy experience. I don't, I don't wish for anybody to to have this this virus. I know a lot of you think it's 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 a hoax, but believe me, 
this thing exists. It's, it, it's real. It's real. The only good thing is uh, we have a very, very strong immune system. And God. And well, and God. Because I know there are people out there who actually have it. And they don't know, no, they don't know they have it. Mm -hmm. And they go around sharing it without even knowing, knowing that they, they actually have it. So, to be on the safe side, my only advice is, you don't really need to feel funny. Sometimes just go out there and, and get tested. For the sake of your brother, your sister around you, your friend, your dad, your mom, because yeah. this this virus it, it, it doesn't it doesn't know no friend it doesn't know no mother it doesn't know a father. Cause I'm telling you out of experience, um, one person had it, and guess what? The whole family ended up having it. And it's by God's grace that we're here because uh, you, you all can see the numbers keep going up and up every day. It, it's not a joke. For those who are already immunocompromised, you know what happened to them. I know some immunocompromised patients do survive. So it was on a Tuesday. I worked with um, one of my colleagues and um, I think Monday or Tuesday, one of it, or Monday, so she was complaining that she had um, a sore throat. I was like, hey, sore throat? That's COVID. She was like, oh no, it's not COVID, blah, 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 and all of that. And um, I was like, please don't pass anything to me. But anyway, you know, I walk in the OR, we wear masks like 24 seven. So we walked throughout the day. The next day I got home, I started having sore throat. I was like, oh my goodness, what is this? What did I just pick up? So the next day I started having sore throat. When I saw that my colleague at work, I was like, I'm having sore throat now. I hope he didn't pass anything to me. She was like, oh no, mm -mm, I don't think so because I'm fine now. I'm like, okay, if you're fine then, I don't know why I'm having sore throat. Then on Wednesday, I started having cough. I was coughing. Then on Thursday, I had body aches. I was so you, so you, you had all the symptoms, and but it didn't even occur to me that it was honestly, it didn't occur to me that it was COVID because then she said she was fine. I'm like, okay, maybe it's just a flu, it's just a cold, and that's how normally when I have a flu, that's how I feel. I have the sore throat, I have cough, and then body aches. I thought the body aches were just from the coughing. <coughs> So on Friday, that's when he started feeling sick. So he went and got tested at St. Joe's and it was positive. He was like, I called him on Tuesday at work for my break time. I was like, how are you feeling? And he was like, it's what I have COVID. I'm like, what? <laughs> so I'm like, my head started spinning. I'm like, okay, maybe the thing, the sign. But even back backtracking though, on Friday, I took the flu vaccine. And whenever I take the flu vaccine, I feel sick. So I just thought it was just the flu and then the flu vaccine to like, I did not think it was COVID, trust me, I didn't. Because if I thought it was COVID, I, I would have just, you know, quarantined myself. But anyway, but that's just to show you how you can actually carry this thing and transmit it without knowing. So um, that Tuesday, when he told me that, I was like, okay, I went to talk to my manager. I told her that um, I've been in contact with somebody who tested positive. I just spoke to my husband and he tested positive for COVID. All right, so she um, she advised me to call Occupational Health and um, talk to them. So I did call Occupational Health. I spoke to them. I've been in contact with somebody with COVID. And then they asked me a couple of the accidents about the signs and symptoms. I told them. So she made an appointment and I went down to the emergency unit in my hospital, got tested, and then they sent me home. So I didn't go back to work because you have to take precautions. So I came back home and then they said the result was, was going to be out after six hours. <clears throat> so in the evening, later in the evening, they called me and was like, oh, you tested positive, blah, blah, blah. You have to quarantine for seven days. This thing really hit me. I'm like, oh my goodness. I had... 
I was hoping that I wasn't positive because if I test positive, I don't know how you're going to do it. How can you? How can I be positive? I always sleep on the same bed and you think you're going to test it's negative. It's positive. That's what we have God. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> nah, yeah, there is God and there is science, all right? If I have it, I sneeze in your face. There is no way I don't. No, you so kissed how, me. So how did you? You, you did, had it and so how you, did I give it to you? Oh yeah, you kissed me. Oh, Duh. I kissed you. Oh yeah, yeah. How? Yeah. How did I kiss? I don't know. You kissed me. Just you kissed me. Yeah, yeah. She kissed me. All right. She just decided to share her stuff. Anyway. <laughs> So when I got that information, I was like, okay, how do we do this? Because guess me, when I came out from work that day, I started playing this. I'm like, hey, you have to stay up here. You're not going downstairs. I'll give you everything you need. Not knowing that, I was, I was the one spreading the whole thing around. Oh, yeah, it felt good, man. I was in the room. I had my food. <laughs> I had my tea. I had vitamins coming. You know, it felt good. You know, breakfast in bed, man, you can't beat that. Mm. That's the only one time you want to be sick because yeah, you get. We are talking about smiling if it was the other way around. Then <laughs> no. <laughs> but trust me, this right here tea, honey, lemon, it played a big part. Played a really, really big part with a little bit of ginger to it. That stink. Mm. Oh, yeah. We decided to go test everybody. I took my mother in law. We did a drive through and she got tested. She was positive as well. And she had been coughing. She had been coughing and sneezing and feeling sick as well. So then when she tested positive, I was like, you know what? It's just better to test everybody just so we know if we're sending the kids anywhere we should and, you know, just be on the safe side. And I took the kids as well. We all got, they, t they did, um, they confirmed them positive. So we all had to quarantine for whole um two weeks but the interesting part is the kids they didn't show any sign nothing like they were fine they were jumping around they were playing as if nothing was happening it was just um i think the thing that really hit me was the headaches like the headaches was just so crazy i was complaining all the time i take anything for it it didn't work you go to sleep you sleep good at night you get up and then headaches again it starts all over it was just crazy but at the end of the day we just really want to thank god that we went through this journey and we're here today telling you guys about our experience and just so you know covid is real take all the precautions that you have to um adhere to and just do what you have to do mask up mask up at every single time you're around people and maintain your distance really there is no two ways to this thing i know a lot of you don't believe it's real this thing is real i know there was a sars covid one which was eradicated but these two is no joke take it serious if you don't, if you've never taken anything serious in life, take this virus serious. Um, I know you all watch the news. You see the surge every day. It's even gotten worse. I was just watching, I was watching CNN and the numbers are just killing me. You don't want to be one of those. You don't want to be... Because you don't know the outcome. Exactly. I know you might think you have a strong immune system which can fight this virus. You never know. People have died with a strong immune system. Exactly. We know pre-existing conditions if died with COVID. We know pre-existing condition. So if you get COVID and you come out alive, it's something to be grateful and thankful for. And do not take it for granted, honestly. So just to go forward, um, I was going to say something. I don't watch it too. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we did um, quarantine for two weeks and I'm just so grateful for the people we have around us, friends, family, our church members, like, they were so, they blessed us with so Hell, much. Oh man, we had a lot we of had food. had a lot of food. People man. dropped food at the front yard. 
my God, my friend, she went all the way, like the things that they bought home. I was like... And some of them even bought their own stuff to take to their house and forgot and dropped it off here. <laughs> so we had double... <laughs> You know, sometimes we it's had, good to be sick. <laughs> we had we had so much broccoli at home that we didn't even know what to do to do it with it. So my friend she went to buy um the things that she she did call me, she was like, Okay, I'm picking this, what do you need? So I told her and she bought some broccoli, she bought for me and her family, she bought the whole things for her house. So we had so much broccoli. And that broccoli was so sweet. Oh yeah. I don't know, it something was, about it was, it was different. Very nice, man. My son yeah. doesn't eat broccoli, but Boy, for some reason... MJ was on broccoli like <clears throat> candy. I was like, oh my God. So, um, yeah, we went through that and um, we had enough food. We had enough, you know, everything that you can think of. The oranges, the orange juice, and just everything that we needed. We didn't like anything. Some people even cooked and brought home. Oh, yeah. Take outside and tea juice. And tea juice, and some achu soup. Achu soup. Like, and the crazy part is... You know, psychology plays a lot in, in, in your in your daily living. Cause my mom tested positive and her feeling wasn't the right. And somebody called her from Cameroon and said, uh, Achu soup cures COVID nineteen. <laughs> and guess what? Brought Achu soup. She drank her Achu soup the next day she said she was well. <laughs> I don't know how true it is. But after drinking that juice soup, for some reason, there was no COVID no more. So you really believe that juice soup kills Dude, COVID? Dude, that's what I'm saying. Psychology plays a huge part. Yeah, there's. I mean, there's a plausible effect, but then, oh boy, like there's just so much information out there about COVID. Yeah. You know, just do everybody just come up with anything. Do your research, honestly. So we're going to share with you guys what we took during that period. And how we stayed home safe and things like that. Oh yeah. We yes, didn't go out at all. We stayed at home. If we needed anything, we just called a friend or somebody and they dropped it off by the door. And that's how we lived for that for those two weeks. So we took a lot of vitamin C, vitamin D. Oh man, I've never had so much vitamin in my life. <laughs> vitamin C, vitamin D and what the calcium? No, not calcium. And then all the oranges and stuff. So I'm going to share with you guys what the kids were taking and then what we were taking. So normally the kids, I do give this to them every day. This is their daily vitamin that I give to them. And this has like, it has all the vitamins in it. Everything. Vitamin A, B, C, D, and E. It has everything. So I just up the dose on this. So I used to give them one tablet and uh, one candy one... Not candy, not all this thing. Gummy bears. One gummy bear a day. It looks like this. It used to give them just one. So I decided, I started giving them two, three times a day. So when, what they say when you have COVID, just up your dose of these things because all of these they make your immune system strong. It's just to keep up your immune system at the end of the day. So we did up the dose with this. We started giving them two two three times a day and they'd love it like that was your best time trust me they love to eat this thing it's almost done it's how it's well said and then my pastor's wife bought this as well this one has calcium and vitamin d so i used to give them they actually love this one better than this one so i used to give them this as well so i gave them two of this and one of this was i giving them two or one yeah, I don't know. one or two of these. She can't even remember. The so the kids took basically these two. I was giving them these two, and then when we mixed the concoction, so we used to drink. We drank tea a lot. Like that was our main food. <laughs> we used to mix um ginger, or um what ginger lime and honey, and then the fever glass. How they call fever glass? It's lemon glass, right? Fever glass. Okay, those who are from Cameroon, they know it as fever glass. But if you don't know it, it's called lemon grass. Who so said it's lemon grass? It's lemon. It tastes like lemon. It has that minty smell. Are you creating a new word in the dictionary called lemon grass, or that's what it is? Fever grass. Okay, so if you're from Cameroon, we also mix. We we did boil fever grass, ginger, and um, lime, lemon, and lemon. 
The only and part then, we missed was the whole fever grass and the pot thing and, and the cover it. Though. Well, we didn't do it. I had the 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 oibo. Which oibo? <laughs> he was using my fish oil. <laughs> no, that thing helped a lot. Trust me. So we, the adults, this is what we were taking. We were taking this vitamin C. It's the 100, the 1000 milligrams. It's 1000 milligrams. So we're taking twice a day, two tablets of this. I mean, it seems like a lot, but anything to boost your immune system, that's what you need to do. And then we're taking also vitamin D. We're taking two of this a day. This is the, this one is 50 micrograms. So we're taking two of these three times a day, two or three times a day. Like sometimes we're faithful to it, sometimes we're not, we're not even lying, honestly. And then I was taking this one, normally I take this one, I try to take this every day because um, I kind of have calcium deficiency or something. I didn't know that. I'm prone to having arthritis because my mom has arthritis. So I tried to take this once a day. So I was also taking this one as well. Once a day, this is calcium and vitamin D. And then this one. Then my husband used normally takes this one as this is his multivitamin, which he doesn't take unless I give him. True or not true? Do you take it when I don't give you? Why should I take it? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, <laughs> mm? you see, right? So he's supposed to be taking this every day, but he doesn't. He takes it only when I give him. But anyway, so he was taking this. I was giving him this one, um, one tablet, um, three times a day as well. But this one too has all the vitamin D, C, D, and like everything is in here. So that's how we kept our immune system up to date. Like I will put it. And then what he was doing, this is my facial. Let's <laughs> the water. Okay, this is my facial gadget. He was using this because this actually has this thing right here, right? This little thing that looks like a chip. You can put it here and then you put like a mint, a mint and all those um, essential oils. You can put it on this. And then when the water starts to vaporize, so it brings out the smell of the mint. So he used this to clog, to unclog his nose. Oh yeah. <laughs> like this helped him so much, honestly. So if you have this at home and you need something to unclog your nose, maybe Trust you should me, try this. It felt really like, good. Like it really gets right into, what are the way? It gets right into your system, into your nostrils and just unclogs everything. So he was using this. I didn't use it. I don't know how he was, you know, but hey, it felt good. And my mother-in-law, she used this at some point. And uh, my mother-in-law did the, the whole cover thing with um, a blanket and stuff. So the concoction that we mixed, um, that we used to drink, I normally boil it in the evening, like around 7 o'clock. I put in the lemongrass, the um, le lemon, lemon and um, ginger. Those were the three things. I didn't use this with garlic. I don't like garlic, honestly. That thing tastes horrible when the it's Garlic worked. is very therapeutic though. It's very therapeutic, but boy, that, I cannot forget that taste when I had it when I was small. My father gave us that thing when we were small, and I cannot forget that taste in my mouth. So I didn't put no garlic in it. So it was just the lemongrass, the ginger, and lemon. So we boiled that at night. I We put on honey, right? Yeah, we used to have honey as well in it. Then I tried to give my sons to you know just to help them too but in as much as we find so we try to also give them some then we continue the next day so we had it just twice a day morning and evening so the leftover at night we just we boil it and we we drink it as well in the morning and uh, what i would advise is because i've heard of some i don't know how true this is the people mix it, that concoction and they have it for days then they just keep drinking it and you don't know how that can be poisonous to your system because one thing about um all this herbal medication um herbal therapy um this therapy is that they don't know the amount for us to take that's why right up to today research has not been able to really clarify 
the um, amount of those things that we're supposed to take. So you have to be careful because you don't know if if it lasts more than one or two days, you don't know what builds up inside. You don't know the chemical interaction that's happening in there. All I'm saying that if you're drinking those things, just be careful the amounts that you're taking because at the end of the day, you don't know the chemical comp composition of those of the herbal um, this in therapy so just be careful so like I said we drank it just twice and we do another batch like a fresh batch and that did work for us so um, those were the things we we took and I think after um, after two weeks we're basically fine we're not coughing we're not um, feeling having all the headaches and stuff but the one thing that I had a very scary experience. He doesn't even know because some of these men they just sleep and they don't even know what their wives they're going through. Honestly, you guys need to be really careful. There was this night, right? I was about to sleep. So by the time I closed my eyes, I felt like I was losing my breath. I wasn't breathing. I was so scared. It happened twice that night. I just decided to stay up and I was on my phone the whole time. I'm like, if this is how death is going to take me, it's not taking me to death. I could I felt like my my like I wasn't breathing. And the one thing that we also had, I don't know if you... Boy, that was another thing I had, the smell. I couldn't smell anything. The house could be burning, could be whatever could be happening. I wasn't smelling. And if you guys know... Intact. If you guys know how fever glass or lemon glass smells, like you can smell it from afar. I wasn't smelling that thing at all. That's how my sense of smell was totally cut off. I had no sense of smell, but that gradually, even after the two weeks, it gradually, you know, came back or something. But then I had the post-COVID fatigue, that's how they call it. <laughs> so I told my husband I had post-COVID fatigue, they would diagnose you. <laughs> post-COVID fatigue syndrome. Because I was explaining to my colleague at work that, oh, this is how I'm feeling. I feel very tired. I can be doing something out of a sudden. I will just feel, I will feel this, like, fatigue as if I don't have any strength, like, very weak, as if I'm about to pass out. Then she said it's post-COVID fatigue syndrome. So I sent him a message from work. I was like, do you know what I have? I have post-COVID fatigue syndrome. And his first answer was, what's who diagnosed you? <laughs> Yeah, post-COVID fatigue <laughs> is chronic, I mean, post-COVID syndrome is chronic fatigue yeah. and headaches. That was crazy. You know. That was crazy. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I did have that, but they were all fine. So I finally, I ended up talking to my primary care physician and she gave me the shot that she gave me. Is it B complex shot? Yeah, it's B complex. Okay. And she gave me the B complex shot. So that did help a lot. I regained my strength back. And then she also she had also prescribed me B complex. So I used to take that once a day, which I finally abandoned. B12. B12, yeah. So I was taking that as well. And then when she gave me the shot, like I felt good. I felt like okay, I'm back to myself. So yeah. Now you wanna add anything else? Well, uh, I might have said it before. The virus is very real. Don't let anybody fool you out there. This is real. In the beginning, I thought it was a hoax. But seeing these numbers, seeing the number of people die, seeing the number of cases, just, you know, baffled me because if I didn't get tested, I would have still been sitting like, oh, this thing is just, you know, another funny story, another story that the media will just try to make news and get more views but believe me this is real and trust me the only way you can prevent this thing is to protect yourself at all time i don't care if you're by your mom your dad your brother your sister your spouse protect yourself because this virus does not discriminate. Yeah. And you don't know whose immune system is good. Some have a good immune system, but they still die. And some are immunocompromised and they make it. So you don't know who is who. You don't know what will happen next. Mm -hmm. So protect yourself at all times. Yeah.
And then um, for those who are not really sure about the signs and things, see, that thing, it can make you feel tired. You get up, it's like you don't want to get up from bed. You just want to lay down. You don't want to do anything. That's how draining it can be. It's very, very draining. At times I felt like I don't just want to get up from bed. I just want to lay in bed all day. But you yeah, have to cook. I had to bring him his own daily juice. <laughs> Covid juice. Oh, yeah, and okay. um, and I really like the way that we worked as a team during this period because it wasn't like it was just me that was doing everything. He was also doing his own part and that's something that I really appreciate of him. When I'm not able to do it, he does it and it's not like you get on my neck, oh you didn't do this, you didn't do that. That's one thing, you know, I will always give him. He doesn't complain like some husbands. If he, if I don't make him breakfast, he doesn't complain. He just goes ahead and he does his thing. So the days that I don't make the COVID juice, he will make it and come and give mics. And that's just how we work. And as a and matter of fact, I made this tea for her. He made mom. the tea. He made the tea for one of us. So he knows what I like and he tries to, to do that. Coffee is real. but take yourself in all time. Way you back later, put it. What he's trying to say is, wear your mask is very important. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys. So, um, this is our COVID experience. We decided to share with you guys what we went through and the things that we used as a family to stay safe. We hope that this information finds you safe. We hope that you're able to gather something from here that you can use as well, maybe to advise or to share with somebody who has COVID and how they can protect themselves and how they can keep themselves safe. So um, we just really want to say thank you so much for watching this video. We love you guys. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. As my wife always says, remember you are the original. Have a blessed day. You can see that one of what I put it on this shirt. This actually is made by my younger brother. Lujan. He is in Germany. He has a boutique in Germany. So if you're interested in any of his products, I'm going to leave his link like he does the best. Good quality. Trust me guys, good quality. Same here, here. The Honestly, lion head. The lion head is like Luger. it says everything Uche. about it. The 40, 40. So, I'm going to leave his information down in the description bar below if you're interested. He does have an Instagram profile. I'm going to leave it down below. Go there, follow him, check him out. If you see anything that you like, you can just hit him up and he's going to send it to you. He sells men's stuff, ladies' stuff, like anything you can think about, but clothing and shoes. Thank you for watching. I will talk to you guys in another video. Have Take a nice care. Bye-bye.